my creators and welcome to another video so today i'm here to share the take 5 art for september woohoo and i'm super super excited about the prompts this month they were chosen by our lovely leanne she's creatively free to be me on youtube here and on instagram you can find her look her up she's amazing as are the other ladies i do this collaboration with but this challenge is of course a challenge for you to participate so i will tell you the prompts for this month and they those are black paint magazine scraps stickers paint marker or pen photograph so i started out in my dina weekly media journal i first put on a layer of gesso to prepare my page and then i put uh, some distress paint all over the all over my page and now i'm taking this stencil from dina weekly i'm using my dilution paint to create my own pattern and i love this stencil because you can create a full nicely painted pattern uh, without that it looks like it's repeating itself so it's super super cool uh, so that is what i'm doing here uh, first of all so i will show you how i move around my stencil and then i will uh, complete this page so if you're wondering what i'm using i ha always have a list of supplies in the description box and if you want to participate in this challenge all you have to do is post your page on instagram with hashtag take five art and if you make a video i would love to receive a link from you so i can add you to the monthly playlist because this is not a challenge for us who do the videos first this is a challenge for everyone and i would love to add your videos as well to the playlist that i create on my channel we've been doing this for four years now so there are playlists of four years of, of um, take five art challenge so that is very very cool um, but yeah I would love to see your creations and if you have uh, some a certain item not from the prompt list don't feel don't let it hold you back uh, from participating just change it up if you would like or leave the prompt out it's supposed to be fun and not to restrict you so moving on, I decided that I'm also going this, to use this Dina Weekly stencil and create somewhat of a pattern. Uh, this is one of my newest stencils and I absolutely love it. I love the big circles with these smaller circles and the both colors of pink. Um, they make me so, so happy. I'm very happy that I chose uh, these colors and these colors were chosen because of my photo that i'm going to share with you in a little bit and because of the magazine scraps that i found in my stash uh, so i wanted to create somewhat of a contrast now the photo that i chose today or two photos that i chose today to work with are from me and kelly and kelly is this wonderful wonderful lady i lived with uh, 10 years ago so we've been friends for 10 years in somewhat of a home or we didn't have a home <laughs> so um we lived together in somewhat of a shelter something like that so we bonded very very well and uh this girl is just she has my heart and everything is always good so i'm using these two photos i also posted them on instagram uh, because i had a misprint so i made a junk journal page with these photos but one of the photos misprinted so Instead of throwing them away, I want to put them in my uh, art journal. Now for the magazine scraps, you can see them here. This is why I chose these particular colors of paint. Because I, put, uh, I took my magazine scraps out first. And you see these flowers have some yellow and some pinks. So that's why I chose that background. Uh, these scraps are actually made from my... Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal that I'm currently working in and I kept these scraps to use in that journal but well I can also use them in this one right so uh, those are my magazine scraps and the only thing I'm doing right now is I'm ripping up the edges and I love the ripped edge and well take some of the papers away and ripping them to the correct size so everything on this layering is with magazine scraps which is very very cool so I absolutely love that prompt now I'm going to start to glue some things down and then I have this one big cluster. Now that way it cannot move from each other because I was pretty happy with how it looked. And I'm going to go on to the next step. I thought I wanted to add my stickers first, 
but I decided not to and I decided I needed a little bit of stamping. So I took one of my new Tim Holtz stamps and I'm going to stamp with a watering can and I'm also going to stamp with another color just to create a little bit more texture and depth before I put my stickers down. And I'm also going to use that alphabet stamp and I'm gonna use red ink. I mean me <laughs> uh yeah so it was a quite a surprise that i felt drawn to the red ink because red is my challenge color uh but i do really like it so uh i used uh, red ink crazy right um, after I did that stamping, I'm going to add these Happy Planner stickers. And these stickers are from the Flower Sticker Book. And I'm just going to, well, have a look into the sticker book. Grab these clear stickers and create a cluster around my uh, photo that I already prepped. And um, after that, I will continue my page. <music> After I was happy with all of the stickers that I stuck down and how they looked, I decided to glue down my photograph and of course the layering behind it. So it's now permanently on my page. And that means that I did three prompts right now. So I used the magazine scraps, I did the stickers and I used the photograph. So I have still two prompts left over and that is black paint and paint marker slash pen. So I decided to take my Dilutions paint. Now, my Dilutions paint is a little bit of a weird texture. Uh, so I just throw in, throw in some water to try and liquefy it a little bit. Uh, the paint is still perfect, you know, like normal paint, still wet. I can still use it, but it's all clumpy. Uh, some of the Dilutions paints have that problem when you have them for too long. Uh, so uh, that is uh, probably with this one. I know, uh, I remember Leanne had that with bubblegum pink. My bubblegum pink is perfect. My only one that does this is this black one. Uh, but just add a little bit of water and then it's fine. So I'm using that black paint. And now I'm also going to paint in some black crosses. Because I had a plan with that big black uh, <laughs> rectangle over there. Uh, but I thought, well, um, if that's the only place where there's a little bit of black... Um, it's not balanced, so I need more black on my page and that's why I decided to make the crosses on my page with my brush. After that, I decided to move on, dry everything of course, and take my paint markers or pens. First of all, I'm taking a Sakura Jelly Roll to write in a quote on my uh, black spot. That is the plan that I had with uh, painting that black because I love the look of white journaling on black so that is what I did so this is the sentence I also used on my Instagram post and I said that this was 10 years later and that I love this girl now I'm going in with a paint marker and uh, I'm using a silver Posca paint marker and I'm just doodling and making sure that I am overlapping the things I already put down. That gives a lot more depth to your page if you just overlap. And after that, I'm taking a white Posca paint marker. And of course, I'm doing a doodly border because, well, I cannot not do it right on this page <laughs> since it's a pretty special one. Uh, so I decided to do a doodly border. And I'm also going to doodle in some hearts with this white Posca paint marker. Also making sure that I am overlapping the things that I already put down. And that way it looks a lot more balanced, but also a lot more interesting and fun to look at. And it feels like you did a lot of difficult things, while in reality this was not difficult at all to create. And it was not a complicated spread at all. 
Of course, after I'm done, I am writing down my date. And then this is my Take 5 Art Challenge for this month. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Put the notification bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. You can also become a patron of mine. Link for that is down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!